Batteries are rated based on the amount of current they can generate under specific conditions. An automotive battery is designed to deliver a high current for a short duration to facilitate engine cranking. Therefore, every battery is designed for a specific application. Battery capacity ratings are established by the Battery Council International in collaboration with the Society of Automotive Engineers. The voltage of a battery cell is influenced by the types of materials used in its construction. Current capacity is influenced by several factors, which are the size of the cell plates. The larger the surface area of the plates, the more chemical reactions can occur, resulting in a greater current being produced. The weight of the active materials on the positive and negative plates. The weight of sulfuric acid in the electrolyte solution. The battery's current capacity rating indicates its ability to deliver cranking power to the starter motor and provide reserve power to the electrical system. Some of the factors that determine the battery rating required for a vehicle includes engine size, engine type, climatic conditions, and vehicle options. The demand for electrical energy to start the engine increases as the temperature decreases. Battery power significantly declines when temperatures drop below freezing. Additionally, the engine becomes more difficult to start due to the tendency of oils to thicken in cold conditions, leading to increased friction. Cold cranking amperes. Every automotive battery must be able to supply electrical power to crank the engine in cold weather and still provide battery voltage sufficient to operate the ignition system. The cold cranking ampere rating of a battery indicates the number of amperes it can deliver at 0 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 seconds, while still maintaining a voltage of 1.2 volts per cell or higher. For a 12-volt battery, this means the total voltage would be 7.2 volts, and for a 6-volt battery, it would be 3.6 volts. The cold cranking performance rating is referred to as cold cranking amperes. It is advisable to purchase a battery with the highest CCA within your budget. Consult the vehicle manufacturer's specifications for the recommended battery capacity. The cold cranking rating is expressed in total amperage and is typically identified as 300 CCA, 400 CCA, 500 CCA, and so on. Some batteries are rated as high as 1,100 cca. Cranking Amperes. Cranking amps measures a battery's ability to deliver a surge of current to start a vehicle's engine. It is tested at a warmer temperature of 32 degrees Fahrenheit, which is higher than the temperature used for cold cranking amps. A higher cranking amps rating generally indicates that a battery can provide more power to start a vehicle especially in warmer climates. To convert cranking ampere to cold cranking ampere, simply divide the cranking ampere value by 1.25. Understanding the cranking ampere rating is essential when selecting a battery, particularly if you frequently drive in colder temperatures. Example, a 650 cca rated battery is the same as 812 ca. Reserve capacity. The reserve capacity rating is defined as the duration, in minutes, that a fully charged battery can be discharged at 25 amperes before the battery voltage falls below 10.5 volts. This rating provides an estimate of how long the vehicle can be driven, with the headlights on in the event of a charging system failure. Ampere hour. Ampere hour is an older battery rating system that measures how many amperes of current the battery can produce over a period of time. The ampere hour rating indicates the amount of continuous current that a fully charged battery can deliver for 20 hours at 80 degrees Fahrenheit without the terminal voltage dropping below 10.5 volts. For instance, if a battery can be discharged at a rate of 4 amperes for 20 hours before its terminal voltage reaches 10.5 volts, it would be rated at 80 ampere hours.